listen, online booking system these days is an absolute must. Because this is what happens. Okay, you're in the shop, right? You working. You got a client in the chair, right? Phone goes off. You look. Hey, what's up, Tony? How you doing, man? Hey, hey, Lou, what's up, man? Uh, can I uh can I get on the book today? What you got? Uh, hold on, Tony. I got a one, got a three, I got a five. Okay, okay. I tell you, what, give me that one, Lou. Okay, I got you. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. What you say, Tony? Hey, Lou. Look. Hey, check this out. Hold on, what's that? Hey, Margaret. What time we gotta take little Tony to the ball game? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, hey, hey, look, check this out. We have to go to the ball game, so so I, go ahead and put me in for the three. Margaret hollered back in there. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, man, I forgot about that. Uh, I tell you what, Lou, I'll call you back. Now, look at what just happened here. You got a client that paid, came in on time, is doing what they're supposed to do. You just wasted five minutes on the phone with somebody who did not even make an appointment. Okay? Look, think about this. That little stuff you bought home from home last night that you plan on eating for lunch, that little 20-minute break you was going to take because your book is full, that's a wrap. Because that happens two or three times a day. I can guarantee you that, right? So now, you disrespected this person because now you're talking over their head on the phone. You're not attending to them. They did what they were supposed to do, right? It puts you in a bad light. You feel me? It's unprofessional if you ask me. So, therefore, you don't need this kind of thing going on. You got to create a system that will take care of you and that client and not get you into that, that type of thing. Okay? So, how do you do that? You got to get an online booking system. When they get the online booking system, they book it themselves. I don't even answer the phone. I'll turn the phone on, on, uh, Turn, turn the sound off or I, either I'll put it on airplane mode because I don't want to be cutting somebody's hair and talking on the phone. That's the, that's very rude to me. So, boom. Guess what? They got to go over there and do it. You're training them. You are the professional and you're going to indoctrinate them into the way that you do business, not let them run your business. Okay? So now, they go over and do that. Now, let me tell you the other upside of having an online booking system. Uh, It makes them responsible. Okay, because the scenario I just gave you just then, guess what? If you book that appointment for someone, they would care less about not coming for that appointment. Right. They don't even care, right? Won't show up. Sometimes won't even call, right? But when you book via the app, the app says at the bottom, you know how you get that little asterisk at the bottom of, the, uh, of something where you can't go forward until you click asterisk, yes, I understand this? It has that built into the system. And under it, it says, these are the rules. Show, look, late, we let you get we let you get one late because I live in L.A., so traffic, L.A. traffic is no joke. Stuff happens. I don't want to be so over the top with that. I'll take them. I'll put them in the next possible place that I can put them in. Do it again. I'm not going to put you in. It says that I am, but I'm not. I'm going to make you come back at another time, possibly another day, okay? Because you're inconveniencing me, so now you need to feel what it feels like to be inconvenienced, you understand? So you understand that, that doesn't work. The best way to get somebody to understand something is, is introduce them to how that thing goes. Because people appreciate it more when it happens to them than they would if it happened to somebody else. So now, they they got to get put back. If you are late on the third time, then I'm here to take you off my book. I'm going to start charging your butt. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to charge you half of the haircut at least, at least. With me, I, I, I tell people to do half, but I charge you the full of price because you know better than what you're doing, okay? How about no-shows? A no-show, you only get one time for that. If you get a no-show, then guess what? The system tells you. It's a, little, it's a little finger like this, and it says, heads up. He was a no-show last time so that you can begin to purge your book of people who don't uh, who don't respect your time. As my granddaddy would say, all money ain't good money. Okay? So you don't want them anyway cuz they messing it up for you and your flow. We it, when you're in when you're doing uh, uh when you're a barber or cosmetologist, you should be out looking for your tribe. Your tribe is people like you. They don't look like you. 
They don't, they, you know, they might not even act like you, but something in here connects you all. And those people are the diehard people that will follow you all over the daggone globe to come get their hair cut or, or, or hair do. Okay. You want them. Why? When, when we are as free as we are as barbers and cosmetologists and we are working in our, our passion and our, our field and doing something that we love to do, why plug in people that work uh, uh, go against the grain and people that don't work for you? Leave them out. Guess what? Somebody else is going to come and fill that position. You ain't got to worry about that. You just keep marketing. They, you'll, it'll be a plate. Somebody to, uh, will come in and fill that spot. So we want the people that we want, okay? Not just random jokers off the street, okay? Now, so that's why you want the online, that's why you want the online booking, okay? So now, when, once that happens, it sends them over. Those people can book it. It makes them responsible. It makes them take care of the appointment. Look, the, the, I was working at a suite one time, right? These ladies that worked across the street, suite from me, it was two different suites. They came out one day, and they just were tickled. They was like, Lou, what in the world are you doing in there? I look up sometimes, I just see people just running to your location. What is, I mean, you giving something away in there? I said, no. I said, I have business practices and policy that they, that they know they got to follow. What you mean? I said, uh, let me ask you a question. You got kids? She said, yeah. I said, you ever tried picking your kids up late for daycare? Her eyes went big like this. Yeah. Yeah, they really charge you for that. I say, exactly. And if you do me like that, I'm going to do the same thing that they care people do for you. I'm going to charge you because this is a professional business. I run it in a professional way. You're going to respect my professionalism and you're going to pay a fee if you don't abide by the rules. Simple as that. Guess what? Banks make most of their money off of fees. <laughs> they don't care about you being late. They don't care about, look, be late all you want to. They're going to charge you the extra $35 or whatever it is they're going to charge you for, it, right? Use the same practices that they do. And it's in the app. It tells you this is what's going to happen if you don't do thus and so. So it's not like you don't know. And you know what guys do when they, when they, when they miss an appointment or they do something like that? They slide in on stealth mode, right? They walk up to me real cool and stuff and speak to me. Look, lean over to me. Hey, Lou. Huh. Look, fold that money up like grandma used to give the money. Remember how grandma gave the money? I'll fold it up. <laughs> Look, they fold up the money and give it to you because I'm quite a joker. And they don't want me to get on them in the shop. So they don't want none of that smoke. You understand? They give me the money on the down low and I take the money. Okay. I don't even have to ask for it. They understand the rules. Now they follow the rules because I have bit professional business practices and policy put in place so that they follow my rules. Okay? So important. Okay? All right. So now.